anniversary of D-Day, the largest military invasion by sea in history. It's also known as the beginning of the end of World War II. On this day in 1944, roughly 150,000 Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy in Nazi-occupied France. Troops from the U.S., the U.K., France, Canada, and more took on about 50,000 German forces. More than 10,000 lives were lost. But the decision to invade made for a huge turning point in the war that ultimately led to the liberation of Western Europe from Germany less than a year later. And this morning, veterans, many of them around 100 years old, gathered for what could be their last trip back to France. Also in attendance was President Joe Biden, as well as more than a dozen other world leaders. President Biden opened his address by saluting the veterans who served, calling it, quote, the highest honor to do so. In their hour of trial, the Allied forces of D-Day did their duty. Now the question for us is, in our hour of trial, will we do ours? Will we stand for freedom? Will we defend democracy? Will we stand together? My answer is yes and only can be yes. Meantime, back here at home, we're highlighting a local monument that after a period of uncertainty has finally found a new home to honor our troops. And we first told you about the story back in April, this special monument located in a small town in Union County. Our Jason Puckett is live in Marshville, the home of this monument. And Jason, the Veterans Memorial there has had quite a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, Jamie and Siobhan, it has been honestly pretty remarkable. The Veterans Monument here in Marshville didn't have a home for the better part of a year after the old park was removed. But thanks to the work of local veterans and volunteers, the monument is now here at its new permanent home. June 6th, 80 years after the heroic actions on the beaches of Normandy, France, people across the globe still gather to remember and honor the sacrifices made that day. closer to home in Marshville. Today I think of three gentlemen, M Lieutenant Al Miller, Corporal Max High, and Private First Class Robert Stegall. Retired Sergeant Major Bob Morgan stands next to the town's Veterans Memorial Monument. Three of them grew up, lived in this area, and they currently are buried at Marshville Cemetery. And that's what, when you talk about veterans, those are the people, especially on D-Day, that I think of. But just months ago, this wouldn't have been possible. Back in April, we showed you this monument down the street in a parking lot, a temporary home after the town removed the decades old Veterans Memorial Park from East Main Street. The town officials told us they had concern of a pipe leak under the park and all that was left was a gravel lot. To see it, see it reduced to what it was and to have to step up and rescue it, we're a group that's here making this come together on a wing and a prayer most of the time, but we're getting it done, and, uh, and that's incredible. The community was determined that this wasn't going to be the end of the memorial. If we don't remember them, they'll be forgotten, and that's what this is about. A group of veterans, volunteers, and local business owners developed these. Plans for a new memorial park just outside downtown. Earlier this year, they were donated land, and in May, they moved the monument here to its new home just in time for Memorial Day and the 80th anniversary of D-Day. This is about remembering these people, remembering the sacrifices they made. They didn't just give up their lives for our freedoms. They gave up their futures. We're all going to make sure that their stories continue to go forward. This monument here is a testament to the work they've done, but I actually want to step back a little bit and show you some of the scope of their vision. This is an acre here of land. Their plan includes adding parks here for all the different branches and also ways that people could come and scan things on their phone and get information about those who serve in this community. Now, if you are watching this and want to get involved with the Marshall Veterans Parks, make sure you check our website, WBTV.com. We'll have a list of ways to do so. For now, here live in Marshall, I'm Jason Puckett, WBTV on your side. Yeah, remembering them, that is our job in all of this. Jason, thank you.